Welcome back to the show. It is your Flick Chat here on Popcorn 10. And of course, Shine with Smart is still here on my set. And we're chatting and having a good time, right? Yes, we are. Are you good? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I mean, let's, let's, let's look at it now. I mean, Nollywood is such a place now where um, films are coming out, mm -hmm. like, back to back, you mm -hmm. know, on YouTube, on Netflix, I mean, Prime, in Showmax, cinema, like everywhere, everywhere. like, mm -hmm. like every, nobody is dolly. Everybody is literally on their toes, you mm -hmm. know, trying to make sure these things are pushing out. Do you think Nollywood is where it should be now? Nollywood could be a lot bigger than it, than where it is now. Mm. Um, in my opinion, because mm. I'm one person and I mm. can only have my personal opinion, mm -hmm. I think the reason why we're not as big as we should be right now mm. is because sometimes we don't pay attention to certain details like sound, cinematography, mm. you know, and some of that needs to be I fixed. Agree with you. And but most importantly, um, we don't tell our stories in the most authentic ways. Mm. Mm. That for me is one of the biggest problems. There's that. When I read some scripts, I've, I mean, I've worked with amazing people, they're amazing script writers, but there are also some scripts that I read and I tell myself, I say, in character, mm. in the person that I'm portraying, mm. she would never say this mm -hmm. because it's not like... It's not it, realistic. It's not realistic. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we, we try to impute European or like American standard stuff mm. in our films. And I think, I think the reason why, let me tell you, the tell highest me. grossing films mm. and the greatest films that we can even think about this year, The Woman King, Black Panther, mm. why is it doing so well? They're indigenous. Because it's so authentic in, in the stories that they're trying Absolutely. to, they're trying to tell African stories. Mm. Okay, Black Panther may be a bit fictional, mm. but The Woman King is based on a real life story here in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it was just because of how well it was told and mm. in the most authentic way, actually mm. embracing and accepting our hair, our outfits, yeah, what yeah, we used to wear, yeah, yeah. you know. I think that's why it Yeah, so much great. wisdom in that. I, I, think, I, I, I think absolutely agree with you, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I think that, you know, being authentic, you know, in your art is one way to actually push really hard mm -hmm. and, you know, be in face of people and, and have great success at yes. the end of the day. So I 100% agree, agree with you. Mm -hmm. But I mean, if there is one international actor that you love to work with, who would that be? International actor? Mm -hmm. uh, Al Pacino. Any day and any time. Why not? Why, why, why him? Um, I think he's, he's the greatest of all time. I don't think I've ever, Al Pacino is one of the... So what film made you, you know, say, okay, this is the GOAT. The this Godfather. Is the... Oh. The Godfather. Mm. I mean, obviously there are much more afterwards, but mm. I think, I think the Godfather, mm. he, he did too good. Yeah, what about back here in Nigeria? Back here in Nigeria? Mm. Um, hmm, let's give it a think. See, you don't call me out of doing... Just say, say your mind. Okay, the one person I would really, really like to work with in Nollywood is Kate Henshaw. Ooh, really? She's such, she's such a powerful actress. I agree. And she stood on that for so long in this industry, mm. and she's so powerful. Mm. And I just, I respect her so much. I can't explain mm. it. Who do you think is very um, overrated in Nollywood industry? <laughs> what is going on here? Are we trying to set people up? Is that wait wait? Just is that what's going on? Answer the question. It's just uh, me and you here. Me. <laughs> you think you're overrated? Yes. Why? I think people give me too much credit. So yeah. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You all try to see, play a trick on I me. Know, I put a trick on you. I know you. there's a name in your head. There's no name in my there's head. There's actually a name in your head. There's no. The way you're head. smiling, there's, there's a name no in your head. head. Oh, there are probably names in your head. Just promise to tell me after the show. Okay, I promise I'll tell you after the show. So there are names in your head then. So you set me up. So there are names in your head then. Your name's in your head then. Uh, Amazing, no. great. <laughs> I mean, uh, um, do you, talking about that, you know, and being overrated and underrated, do you yeah. think that because you're pretty, you get like lots of roles because you're pretty, like that pretty privileged thing, does it, do you think it works for you? Most definitely. Um, this year, I started selecting a lot of the roles that I was getting because from in the past two years, a lot of the roles I were getting were as um, either someone's pretty girlfriend, mm -hmm. sport rich daughter, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. They were always just roles that only a Fine girl. Fine girl could play. Mm. And I think that's a demeanor to what I can do. I think I'm... And before that, it, it actually started to make me feel like that's all I was capable of. Mm. For, for a very long time, I battled that mentally. 
And I think my mom really helped me come out of that because I remember my mom spoke to me. She said, do not allow what other people um, project on you define who you are. Mm. And for me, mm, that was something I really, really had to go through. Mm. I'm not great at what I do. I have so much learning to do. And, I'm so, and I know that I have so much potential that I haven't grasped completely mm. yet. Mm. And, but I just know that I had to kind of put a bit of a hold on those roles because it was just basically telling everyone that that's all I was capable of. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm so much more than that. Yeah, so to be honest, I think there's a conversation that I've had, you know, I have had with lots of people. I keep saying that Nollywood has a way of like stereotyping people. So true. Like just put you to a particular kind of role. I mean, I have told Brother Shaggy, Literally, like, yo, it, it seems as though the industry just keeps, you know, giving you all the funny roles and mm -hmm. all of that laughable roles and everything. Mm -hmm. When I know, I believe that he can, like, there is so much more to him, mm -hmm. you know, especially because he, he also thought studied theater arts, he studied the work, you know. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's, it's it's just that way. Once you mention some names, it just immediately you think there are roles that you're already thinking, you know, yeah. patience is over you, thinking think of wickedness and all of that. When that happens as an actor, um, when you can't, Although you will at some point find someone who will believe in you. Mm. And um, Matthew McCartney, for example, mm. when he started his career, he started out with a typical Hollywood standard, mm. pretty boy, mm. love roles. Mm. And he didn't shoot for a really long time because mm. he had to say, no, I'm not going to take these roles anymore. Yeah. I'm going to take roles that I deserve and yeah. that will show that I have more. That's when yeah. he started doing films like Interstellar, the yeah. film about HIV. Mm. So sometimes if no one is going to believe in you, yeah. I think you put out your work and show people what you're capable Amazing. of. Amazing, sounds and that's, good. that's what I'm working towards. Sounds good, love it, love yeah. it, absolutely. I mean, I'm looking forward to your projects and all. Talking about things we're looking forward to, what are things that we should watch out for? Are there projects you've filmed already that are coming out soon and we should, you know, watch out for that or something? Well, I recently did The Lion's Den with Demi, uh, you, Edouji, Aikyo Bona, my big brother in the industry, mm. uh, Rotimi Salami, so many great actors, you know, Tasha is in it as mm. well. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that, I saw that, I saw that. And yeah. I, I think it's so fantastic, it's coming yeah, Victor, out soon. Directed by Victor Okbala, right? Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, I think it's going to be great. I, mm. I mean, there are a couple more stuff that people should watch out for on YouTube, mm. things coming to the cinema, but um, next year, um, The Cold Night. The, okay. There's a film called The Cold Night, and I think everyone watching should they should watch out for that film. The Cold Night, you guys, they look for that particular one. Shine. So the internet says that you're worth over two hundred million now. <laughs> I'm just like ah, wow, two hundred and fifty uh, yeah, thousand US dollars. Let me tell you something. Tell you, me. You know why I laugh at this? Why do you laugh? No funny. <laughs> the first time I saw this information, don't know who sent it to me. My mother sent it to me. She said, Mom, you Where didn't is this money me. now? She said, she said, Mom, you didn't tell me you're over you are worth over two hundred and something million dollars. She can come you. and spray your mother money now. Honestly. I say mommy is not like that, I promise you. <laughs> I saw I'm just like, wait, hold on. Like. They, no, they said She's worth over 200 million dollars. Yeah, million 250 dollars. US dollars, but I'm like sorry, 200 yeah. million naira. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's say that. And um, she's, uh, her father is European. I'm like, wait a damn minute. My, dad, <laughs> my, my father is Canadian, for God's sakes. The man grew up in Victoria Island, British Columbia. He's not European, for God's sakes. I'm Get sorry. it right. Get it right. Get okay. it freaking right, you guys. <laughs> and, um, and, and they said, She's currently in a relationship with a handsome man. Who's a handsome man, though? But handsome. I said, damn, damn. You, you know sometimes, I right? I said, damn. I said, people be giving me shit I want in my life. I like that. I, I love wanna, it. I'm like, I want to be that girl you guys yeah, talk yeah. about. I want to be her. Absolutely. <laughs> now, you, you know what's crazy, right? You read these things and you're just like, wait, is this me? I be designing that shine. I'm but like, this is my photo, who right? Who has the this European father? <laughs> who has it? Crazy. Are you so in a relationship, crazy. though? Uh-uh. Is that how they used to ask somebody questions? Straight up, me, I don't, to, I don't used to, I don't used to. Well, 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 I think I'd like to be as direct as possible. Right now, I'm not in a relationship. I'm, I'm in a very happy stage in my life. Situationship? No, I'm not in a situation. There are men in your life, though. No, well, there's several men, but none of them to be placed Romantic as a proper also. man in my life. There are wow. a lot of people coming on to me, but I don't think a lot of these people know me. And I don't think they want to be with Shine. I think they want to be with the impression of Shine Rossman. 
I think they want to be with sometimes a light-skinned, beautiful girl. I think people have a lot of agendas when they come to me. Mm. And it, I think so far I haven't been able to find someone mm. that, you know, and that's fine. Yeah, Shine, also we can't find your age in social media and internet. How old are you? Really? Oh my gosh! I could be anything from 18 to 50. How old are you though? 18 and to 50, take a guess. What is wrong with you? 18 to 50. I don't know, just call me for roles from 18 to 50. I could look like a 50 year old if you want me to. Just put a little bit of Guys, I'm done. I'm done with this interview. Are you walking out of your interview? Yes, yes I am. I mean, take, take over my show. Hi guys, uh, welcome to the Popcorn 10. This is my guest here. He's not feeling too good. That's why he wants to walk off his show. What is wrong with this girl? Security! Okay, okay I'll take it back. Well, Shine, <laughs> thank you so much for coming on this show. Of right? Course. It was so much chatting with you. Before we go, we're gonna play the Kiss Kill Mari thingy. Um, quickly, right? So I'm gonna give you three names and you'd have to kiss one, kill one, and marry one. First of all, do you like light skinned guys or dark skinned guys? I love me some dark skinned guys. Okay, so um, we have um, a day and me, we have a Kule Remy, and we have a. Uh, somebody give me one fine actor's name there. Maloui. Maloui, yes. Kiss, kill, and marry. Yeah. Oh, goddamn, I think like two of those men are married. Um, kiss, kill, and marry. <laughs> Danny, this is for you. I'll kill you. I'll shoot you with a gun. Relax, it's not that Danny, deep. Danny, you, I'll shoot you. It's not that deep, it's not that deep, okay. <laughs> kiss, who are you gonna kiss? Who am I gonna kiss? Um. Oh yeah, oh yeah, time, Ibarra. Uh, I, I would, I think I would kiss. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. I would, Jesus. I would kiss the feet of Jesus as a holy Why are you running away? It's not that deep. You just, that I am. You don't, want, you don't want to say. It's fine if you don't want to say. I mean, who would I kiss? Who would I kiss? Who would I marry? I think it's just hard to decide if Malawi I can marry and... any of those people. Is it Malawi? Is that, is that the yeah, pronunciation? Yeah. What's the pronunciation though? Ma Malawi. Malawi. Ma Maluwa. Maluwa. Malawi. What? What? Wait, wait, wait. What? Gabo, Malawi Gabo, right? Exactly, same thing we're saying. Yes, yeah, so I think maybe I would kiss him. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna marry Kuli Remy. <laughs> no, I can't do this. I'm not for those Yoruba demons. So let's go on. <laughs> I, I will marry Al Pacino. I'll kiss Mary. <laughs> I'll, I'll kiss and marry him, that for sure. Shine, what are your words to people who've been supporting you for over the years? You know, being there with you and are still on the journey of supporting everything that you do, you know, your humanitarian stuff and like everything in between. Yes. I think uh, the foundation of who I am begins and ends with God. Mm. I wouldn't be anything without him. Mm. And every day I wake up, I try my best to, to live by him. Mm. And um, my family, my immediate family, I would die without any of them. Mm. My mother, my mm. father, God rest his soul, mm. my brother, my sisters. I am nothing without these people. Yeah. I will continue to be everything I am because of them. And to everyone that supports me and everyone that has ever believed in me, my mm. fans, producers and directors that have yeah. worked with me, that have been patient, that have helped me grow. Mm. I want to say a really big thank you. Yeah. And um, I don't think any of that should be taken for granted. Absolutely. I'm very grateful and I love you guys so much. Mm. And uh, one thing I will say to people that I'd call them my fans, I don't know. Mm. But um, don't, you know, don't worship anybody. You mm. know? We're all human beings and mm. as much as you see us on the big screen. Mm. We have real life. We're all just human beings, you know. Yeah. I'm a regular person. So yeah. if you bump into me at Prince Ebano, police, say police. Hi. Do not insult my flip flops. Right, because I always say, oh, look at what she's wearing. Mm, she's wearing flip flops. I, she's not impressive. She's I look like, homeless when I'm not in this entertainment industry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's clear that out. <laughs> Shane, thank you so much for coming once again. Completely appreciate it. Um, we're looking forward to all of the amazing things you would do from, your, from directing your film, mm -hmm. producing it, and like everything in between. Follow Shine and socials at Shine Rosman, right? Underscore Rosman? Yes, that's me. Yeah, and of course, shout out to your sister. So she's doing absolutely well. Who you know? taught Rosman? Yeah, love, love, love. I mean, your family is absolutely gifted. You, you know, gotta like, know. Uh, yeah, amazing stuff. Thank you. Sorry. No, Hi, no, guys. No, no, no. <gasps> All right, guys. Thank you for watching uh, Flick Chat here on Popcorn And We're going to go on a break now. When we are back from this break, we have the last segment of the show. You know what to do. Do not adjust your TV. If you do, touch your cigarette. Ha <laughs> ha!